two minutes from the Book of Mormon Evidence Conference. I was unprepared for the direction Joseph this Smith speech went. Whenever the kingdom of God is set up, there's always the counterfeit. So the counterfeit is set up in the same year. But it doesn't end there because the very next year, Charles Darwin is about to get on board the HMS Beagle. And he gives a, uh, the captain of the ship gives him a copy of the book, Principles of Geology. And he says in his own journal, he says, this is what I needed for evolution. Kind of a few things here, like number one, the earth before the sun in the Bible. But according to modern science, the sun comes before the earth. Oceans before land in the Bible, the land before oceans according to modern science. Do you see how easy we can just have these run side by side? Not at all, they're directly opposing views. These are the two opposing views. And we can go down light, plants, trees, fish, all of these things continue on. Marine animals before land, birds before reptiles. Remember, modern science thinks the birds are the descendants of the dinosaurs. So the reptiles were first, now they're into birds. Atmosphere between two layers of water, man before death. All of this comes down to one thing. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and God created man. But according to modern science, man created God. There is no way to blend what modern science has done with what the scriptures say. And so the point we are right now is who will we trust? And Joseph Smith, who was given the right to see Moses and see him in person in the Kirtland Temple and to reaffirm that story when he receives the revelation in 1830, translating the, Book of Mor the, or the Bible. Or you can believe Charles Lyell and Charles Darwin. Those are the two choices that we have. So it's either the big picture of modern science with a hot molten earth and everything coming from chemicals and nothing, or it's a hydro planet, a, an earth that is, that is built on water. More coming info from, from the Book of nothing, Mormon Evidence Conference not available to the world. That is, that is built on water. Now it's important to not only read and understand this, but we talked about in the beginning about a tour that we're doing with Hannah. Dean Sessions and I are also taking a tour to the Grand Canyon. And this tour starts in Las Vegas where you can walk up to the bottom of the Grand Canyon series where you can see creation rock and flood rock. And that, that story will take us through the Grand Canyon to the Arizona crater, which is where water came up out of the earth and end up in petrified forest to see the entire process of what happened during the flood. When you hold a piece of petrified wood ever in your whole life, that piece of wood marks the moment, the year that Noah was on the ark. This is a testimony, the petrified wood is a testimony of that creation event called the flood. A True Seekers Academy, our group that put together the, the workbooks, is designed, our whole focus, our whole thrust is to teach our children truth. This, these are the basic things that modern science thinks, that the rocks, the earth was formed when rocks crashed together, they, they melted, and as they melted, they sunk, and they're kept hot today because of radioactivity. The plates are floating on molten magma. Water on the earth came long after the creation of the earth from, from comets from space. The earth is four and a half billion years old. All man in life evolved from a single-celled organism. Life came from chemicals. Chemicals came from Big Bang. Big Bang came from nothing. Surely that didn't happen. We know that, right? Look in all your textbooks, even at BYU, all of the textbooks show you the way the earth was created. It's hot and molten, right? Well, Moses is actually counseling with the Creator himself. Tell none of this except to those who believe. So the things that we learn in Moses chapter 1 are not available to the world.